I paid for six gigahertz. I demand six gigahertz. There was a guy from The Verge that watched my video on how to fix the problem. And they came out with this article after they already watched my video. So this is, this is, um, brutal. So, so that, that, that goes to tell you that, um, they, n they knowingly lied and put out, no, it's not, it's not stupid. It's really smart. This, this, this who knows how many fucking clicks this article got. Because I, th I think in my video, I said that the title is good. Stop your Intel crashes. That's that's very accurate, right? You're Because you're stopping the crashes. You're not actually fixing them. Now, did I ever actually say the word fix in this video? See, I don't I don't pay attention to verbiage, man. I'm like, this is how you fix it. But it's but the way people are the way people are taking it out of context is like, Jufus said you can reverse degradation. That's not what I fucking meant. What the hell? I just said you can make it work and play your fucking game. And if you look at the Verge's article too, damage is permanent. Well, yeah, no shit. You're, you degraded your silicon, right? Now, technically, there's no fix for degradation. You can't reverse degradation. There's no fix for that shit. But you can still make it work and prevent further degradation. It's weird that people take that kind of shit out of uh, out of context, man. It's super weird. It's like, and here's the other weird thing. I'm just trying to help people, man. It's like, I don't have to if you don't want me to. It's like... I I, I, I I fucking diagnosed the problem like a year ago. My entire Discord is fine. I'm like, here's how we fix it. And the whole and the, the hardware space is like, no! He's not mad enough. Why aren't you mad, Jufus? Be more angry on my behalf. Okay. We'll talk about we'll talk about that first then. As a consumer, as a purchaser of goods. Actually, just walking in, day, in your day-to-day -day life. You got two options, baby. Two. You can be a victim. Or you can take care of yourself. That's it. Those are your two fucking options. Victim, take care of yourself. Now, take care of yourself is way more difficult, isn't it? It's much easier to sit in a corner and cry like a little bitch, isn't it? Now, how in this, let's take this scenario specifically, the Intel degradation problem. How do you take care of yourself? First, one, RMA the CPU. Intel never said they were not RMAing CPUs. Never. And people people mistook that as well. Like, cause I think they said that there, there's there's not gonna be a recall. Who gives a shit? They're RMAing the CPUs that are dead. What's the problem? So that solution number one, just RMA your CPU. No, nothing bad happened. Who cares? Right? Number two. Also, actually, wait a minute. 0 0.5. New micro code is dog shit. Don't use it. Just flash the BIOS to the one before. This let in. I think Intel's coming out with a new new one. Wait for that one. This is this this new one, isn't it? This is, uh, the zero point. This one. Yeah, that's that's not it. Um, but anyway, ign ignoring the new micro code for now. RMA the CPU. You're good. When you get the new CPU, lock the cores. So, so now you, you've taken all of the emotion out of your issue. You, you have 
games that are crashing, your CPU is blue screening, your thing is degraded, etc. You get a new one, you lock the cores, you get back to gaming, problem solved, nothing bad happened, right? The, the weird thing is, now, okay, now let's say your CPU is deleted and you, and you voided your warranty and it's degraded, which is a really weird scenario because um, I feel like anybody that's deleted their CPU would be a hardware enthusiast and would know to lock the cores. But I digress. Let's say it's fucking deleted and it's degraded after the fact. You just do what I did in the last video there. Add a bit of voltage. Lock the cores. Find sweet spot. Simple as that. And now... And now in the back of your head, you're like, wow, okay, so from now on, I'm going to be very aware of how my hardware is performing out of the box. I'm not going to let these boost algorithms dictate how my hardware performs. You learn the lesson going forward. Yeah, you might have gotten fucked, but at least you're not playing victimhood and you're taking care of yourself. Dude, I do you want you want to talk about the uh, the BIOS bug that happened the other day in one of my consults? It's fucking unfortunate, dude. The guy updated his BIOS because he got fear mongered by um, mainstream and fucked up my entire previous consult. And then he had to pay another five hundred dollars for me to fix it because he was so scared. So I was like. Why'd you update the fucking BIOS, dude? Yeah, like YouTuber said there was a major update from Intel. This is the only reason why I did it. I'm like, I hope you learned your fucking lesson. $500 lesson. Trust the guy you paid the first time. I don't, I don't make this shit up, dude. This was yesterday. It's like this, this poor guy lost $500 of his money because he got fear mongered. Now, hopefully he learned his fucking lesson to never trust mainstream fear mongering again. That's an expensive mistake, dude. Why do you trust that shit? I'm trying to help you. He's not a moron, dude. He doesn't know. That's not... No, that's not the point. No, he's not a... Nobody's... You can't... Okay, it's not... It's not... Social pressure is a thing that most people can't deal with. I know, it's social pressure, though. You can't deal with that shit. Um, you have Linus, Gamers Net... I'm, I'm hot, guys. Fuck, I got to know... You have Linus, Gamers Nexus, fucking Hub, Techia City, Builds. You literally have The Verge. You have every single mainstream publication media telling you your shit's fucked. And I'm one guy with 30,000 subscribers telling you it's not fucked. It's hard, man. You're, 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 you're gonna, it's, it's tough. Even the most loyal of people are gonna have doubts for a, for a split second. It doesn't make them dumb. It just, it makes them human, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking rough. Mainstream tech tubers and these publications have no idea how much damage they're causing to real people, man. It's because they don't see these people suffering on the ground. They don't see them suffering. So they'll never understand that they're they're like what they're doing is basically evil, dude. In my eyes, the shit that they're doing, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. Because people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Nobody has a fucking clue what they're doing, man. Let me tell you, I got some other fucking consult stories too. Why do you think I have the highest fucking level of supporters out of any tech tuber under like a, under a million subscribers by far? People are tired of this shit, man. They're tired of that shit. It stabilized my chip. Sucks to miss out on 5.7. Okay, that's... Okay, there you go. That's another... Um, that was another common complaint that I got. Um, 
now this one is a bit more of a gray area a little bit because here it's like or I should say this is more like the victimhood side of things but it's like I paid for six gigahertz I demand six gigahertz um talking about the single core boost shit right so I, my I'm supposed to I paid for one of my cores to hit six gigahertz right now it, it, that, that's that's a that's true except the people that say this kind of stuff haven't asked themselves what the key what the key question is what's the goal what's the goal the only goal where that matters is single course in a bench that's that's the only it, it, the cpu doesn't even go to six gigahertz in any other circumstance you, say I'm you know what i'm saying and then if you actually go and you benchmark gaming so like let's say for example a 14900k let's just say for example right it's six gigahertz single and 5.7 all core out of the box right if you if you just leave it out of the box and go and benchmark like shadow of the tomb raider Warzone, rift breaker whatever just a game with a built-in benchmark and then right after you go to your bios and you lock all the cores to 5.7 and then you benchmark the games again the fps that spits out is identical it's it's uh nothing like it's the same fps so when it, for anyone that asks themselves what's the goal the goal is gaming performance well you didn't lose any if you just lock all your cores you, you still got what you paid for you still got the fastest gaming cpu it's just you, you're not getting a single course in a bench score so that's why again another reason why it never bothered me i just don't care right you you don't you don't even lose a single fps not one nothing happens nothing bad happens are you are you using your pc to play games or are you using it to single course in a bench now if you're using it for single course on a bench then oh sure and i suppose you're you're gonna degrade your shit doing it i don't know right that's why there's no fomo there now now let's say you, let's say your cpu can't run 5.7 anymore let's say it runs 5.5 did you do the math next the next fucking thing did you do the math it's not that serious there's no fomo 5700 divided by 5500 it's 3.6 percent with perfect scaling so if you're if you're in a game of cs2 or valorant or something and you're at 300 fps 3.6 times 3. That's a 10 FPS difference with perfect scaling. What the fuck? Like, you, like you're telling me you have FOMO over 10 FPS? Let's say you even have FOMO over 10 FPS. What's the goal of that 10 FPS? The, the usual answer would be so I can compete this means absolutely nothing when you're in the 300s zero you're in you're in you're just dog shit at the game territory now yeah so there's no fomo do the math you, you don't lose any gaming performance by locking your cores nothing bad happened nothing bad happened it's wild so of, of all the things that i covered it's like wow nothing bad really did happen and then go fucking test it yourself 
just go test it yours go set your fucking cpu to 5.7 run a benchmark go set your cpu to 5.5 go run a benchmark there might be like a 5 fps difference at 300 because games don't perfectly scale 6 fps maybe dude people are out of their minds people are out of their minds dude nobody asks themselves what the goal is nobody there's no fomo if you have a hundred megahertz fomo go spend three thousand dollars in one of my bundles that's what that's for i'll get you that hundred megahertz i'm gonna sell amd bundles do you know how much less time it takes to do an amd bundle over an intel one i have to like stress test car who for 24 hours flip the fucking sticks turn mrc training off fucking stress test for another 24 hours i gotta make sure that's just stable before it's a fucking nightmare it takes me like one week of work for one bundle i can just sell a, a fucking 3d chip bundle for the same fucking price for one tenth of the work and now i can because all these fucking people are gonna be like i don't want intel fucking a dude fucking a hell yeah i just cut my workload by one tenth man it's gonna be fucking sick i can't wait for that shit it's gonna be fucking awesome. see take advantage nothing bad ever happens so smart people do man i'm not gonna make any more videos on this intel shit i'm done with this um there's really not much more to say um the more you listen to the mainstream the more i just can't help you man it is what it is take advantage of the market if you want to i will be selling amd bundles pretty damn soon here if anybody's interested in that shit other otherwise yeah fuck it we're, we're done with this whole intel crashing shit